Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all doing well, and thanks for the feedback on the last video. Since I've been unable to go to the barber and I needed a haircut, I tried to cut my own hair about a week or so ago. Yep, I went and did it for the first time ever in my life. I posted some pictures on my Instagram profile, but I also filmed it and sped it up to show you guys a little bit of the process that I went through. I'm going to cut my hair. If I mess it up, I'm probably just going to have to shave my whole head. And here goes nothing. It took a little bit of time for me to coordinate myself and not cut my hand, but after a while I got it. I only cut around three quarters of an inch off the top and the sides, but I think it'll have to do for now. There's all the hair that I cut off. Today I'm going to show you how to make two awesome paper planes, the Pelican and the Dive Bomber, and I named them that way because of the way they fly. Check it out. The Dive Bomber is a really cool glider that can fly around 40 to 45 feet with a good throw. It sometimes dives or shoots down, but I'll show you later how you can adjust and throw it for optimal distance and smooth flight. The Pelican, on the other hand, is a cool stunt plane that specializes in doing front flips and then flies upside down back to you. I named it the Pelican because the birds are known to dive down into the water to get fish. It can also fly like a glider, but it's mostly made for stunts and doesn't go too far. With some practice and adjustments that I'll show you at the end, you can get the Pelican to do some really amazing stunts and you'll amaze everyone with your new plane. I'd like to thank everyone who commented on my Rob's Phone Channel video and my community post for the planes. You'll need two sheets of printer paper, colored or white, and once you have that, we can get started. I'm going to first show you how to make the dive bomber if you want to learn how to make the Pelican. Then I will put a little subtitle down here that you can go to in the video. Start with your paper in the landscape orientation or the longer edges horizontal and take the left edge and fold it across to the right edge. Line them up as neatly as possible and just make a crease on the left side here. And just run your fingernail against it to make sure it's extra sharp. Then we can open it up and we're going to take both of the corners and fold them onto this vertical line. So just take it and airplane fold it into the center so that it's directly on the vertical line and just make a crease on the upper right. Just run your fingernail over the right side and just do the same with the other side making sure the crease is sharp. Now we can take the very top and fold it down to the corners. So just take the tip and round it off and line it up directly with the corners here. And once it's folded down we can make a nice sharp crease on the top. Then we could unfold the tip and you'll see we now have a horizontal line here. We're going to take the tip and fold it directly onto that center point. So just line it up with the center of that horizontal line and make a nice sharp crease on the top. Now we could take the top edge here and fold it directly in onto the vertical line that we already have. I'm just going to set it down and fold it in, line it up as neatly as you can and make a nice sharp crease all throughout the right side once again crease it really sharp with your fingernail and now we could do the same with the left side. Fold it directly in, crease it all throughout and sharpen it. Then we could just fold the whole thing in half by taking the left side and folding it to the right side, flattening everything out and you should have something that looks just like this. Looking near the nose of the plane you should see a vertical crease in the paper. We're going to fold the wings down horizontally so we create a crease that lines up with the top of that vertical one. When you fold the wing down, you'll also notice there's a horizontal crease on the opposite wing that you can use as a guide. Fold the front wing down until it aligns with the top of that vertical line and the opposite horizontal line. And just make sure that the back of the wing lines up with the body as well. So I'm just going to set it down and make a nice sharp crease along the edge. Now that we folded the front wing, we could do the back wing. So just flip it over and do the same thing. Fold it and line it up with the other one, just like this, and make a nice crease along the top. Once your plane looks like this, we can move on. Finally, we're going to fold the wing tips upwards horizontally at the corner here. Just fold it up and be sure to check that the back of the wing tip is also aligned with the wing. Don't worry if it's not exactly folded on that corner. What's most important is that both sides of the plane are symmetrical or evenly matched. Just flip the plane over, Fold the other wingtip up until it matches the opposite one, and we've completed the dive bomber. We can just lift the wings up so that they're horizontal or slightly angled upwards, lift the wingtip so they're perpendicular to the wings, and it's ready to be thrown. To make the pelican, we're also going to hold the paper in the landscape orientation and take the left edge and line it up with the right edge. Once they're neatly aligned, then we can make a nice sharp crease along the left side of the paper. Then we can open the paper up and take the top edge and fold it down to the bottom edge, but we're just going to hold it there and make a dimple on the top edge by pressing in the middle here like this. 
Then we can open up the paper and you'll see we now have a horizontal dimple at the halfway point. We can then take the bottom edge and fold it up to that dimple. Hold it there and now make a dimple on the bottom. Now when you open up the paper you'll see we have two dimples, one in the middle and one on the bottom. We'll take the top edge, fold it down to the lower dimple, and make a sharp crease all throughout the top edge of the paper now. We're going to take the corner on the right and fold the right edge down onto this edge that we just folded down. Just fold it in, line it up, and crease sharply on the upper right. Do the same thing on the left side. Fold it in, line it up on the bottom, and give it a nice crease. Unfold both of the corners. We're going to open up the edges on the right and do an inside reverse fold. So spread the edges apart and press downwards on the top. Push the edge inwards and give this diagonal fold a little pinch. Then flatten the paper out by pressing downwards on it. Do the same on the left. Open the edges, press down on the top and tuck the center in while pinching the diagonal and flattening it out. We're going to take this triangular flap here on the right side and flatten it to the left like this by flipping it. Then, we could take this right edge here and fold it directly onto this vertical crease on the right side of the triangle. So I'm just going to place it down and fold the right edge here directly onto that existing line making a nice sharp crease on the right. Now we can take the flap and flip it back towards the right directly on top of the edge we just folded and flatten everything out. Repeat the same on the left side. Fold the left flap to the right now, take the edge beneath it and fold it onto that vertical crease on the left of the triangle, then flip the triangle back and flatten everything out. Now you should have something that looks like this. Now we can flip the entire sheet upside down and we're going to fold the airplane in half by taking the right side and folding it to the left. Press downwards on it again, and if you flattened it well like I did, you should sort of see a light horizontal crease here, starting from the corner. We're going to fold the wings down by taking the corner here and aligning it with the bottom, making sure that the front of the plane lines up with itself. Don't try to line the top of the wing with the bottom. Only pay attention to this horizontal crease here and the corner in front when we're folding it down. So just fold it down, lining up the front of it with itself, just like that, and give the wing a nice crease on top. So now the front of it should look just like this. We're going to flip it over and align the other wing with that one that we just folded. Line them up and just crease it on top sharply. Hold the front of it towards you and flip it upside down like this and pull it open, flatten it out. At this point, take the top of the plane and fold it down to this bottom edge. The paper will be pretty thick here, so once you fold it down, Let's make sure it's really flat by applying a lot of pressure and creasing sharply. Now flip the paper over again so the flaps are on the bottom and take the right side and fold it to the left and flatten it out. You should see that there is a horizontal crease here that we made before when we folded the wings down. We're just going to simply fold the wings down on that existing crease and do the same for the other wing. Fold it down and flatten the plane. You should notice that they match up evenly. Open the plane and hold it here on the body and flip it over and you'll notice on the bottom here we have these little triangles that stick out. These work like elevators that disturb the airflow. We're just going to fold them upwards all the way just like this. Crease it. Do the same with the left one. Now we could fold the triangle the opposite way or downwards on that existing crease. It will be pointing directly towards the ground when you hold the plane. Repeat on the left side. On the underside of both the wings you'll see those flaps sort of stick out here and we're going to fold the right one at this corner and fold it towards us. Try to fold the triangular flap so that the bottom of it is parallel with the front or nodes of the plane and make a nice sharp crease on the right. We're then going to lift the tip of the flap up so it's facing directly upwards when we hold the plane. Do the same on the left one. Fold it towards you at the corner, make the bottom line up with the nose, crease it, and open it so it's pointing straight upwards. And now you're done with the pelican. It should look just like this with those tips facing straight up and those small triangular elevators in the back pointing down to the ground. So let's go over how to throw them. I'm not sure why, but I'm having a little difficulty with this plane when I throw it. I'm not sure if the humidity got to it, but when I throw it, it's kind of circling back a little bit and not going far. Wow. This 
It's not supposed to be a boomerang plane. I don't know if they've just become a little humid, but they're not flying properly anymore. This is the one that I was throwing in the beginning of the video, and if you look at it now, it it's kind of messing up. It became really flimsy. This one I literally just made, and it is flying well. So I just kind of tilt these up, and... Oh! What I'm going to do is basically hold it right here behind the nose, in the middle of the plane almost, and I'm just going to toss it out like this. Do not throw it too hard. Go like this, it's all in the elbow, not too much of your arm. You could also try to throw the dive bomber upside down like this if you want. To throw the pelican, just make sure that everything is creased really sharply and that these are facing up and these two are facing down. And just throw it straight out, sort of like a basketball, not too hard, but just throw it out and up a little bit, just like this. Oh, again, it's mostly in the elbow. To make it kind of fly straight, you can just flatten these out like this and then just give it a nice soft toss. Maybe just a little harder. There we go. And finally, if you fold these all the way upwards like this and toss it up, it might do a backflip. Yep, there you go. I hope you liked the video for the Pelican and the Dive Bomber. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and hit the subscribe and notification bell. I had a few problems with the Dive Bomber, I think because I left it out and it got really damp. So make a new one and be sure not to let it sit out in humidity. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below. Boomerangs, planes. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.